Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the endocrinology of the male reproductive system. Now if you watch the other video on the female reproductive system, we're going to have some similarities here. Uh, but we're going to of course do the male side. Now keep in mind, pretty much all the hormones in the body are the same whether we're male or female. Uh, there's just going to be some differences in, um, in you know, endocrine hormone uh, amounts. And we'll talk a little bit more about that to shed some light on things. But we are going to start with the same endocrine gland that we started with uh, for the female. And that is going to be, uh, and actually I'm not going to write this out, come to think of it, just to save a little time and space. We're going to start with a hormone called GNRH, which stands for gonadotropin releasing hormone. And that comes from the endocrine gland referred to as the hypothalamus. So again, we have another video on the female reproductive system. We're going to, we started with the same endocrine gland. Uh, it secretes GnRH, which is going to stimulate the anterior pituitary to release FSH and LH. Okay? So these are the hormones we're dealing with. Uh, FSH and LH. So chain reaction is what we're seeing when uh, we see the endocrine system. And I mentioned this in the previous video with the female reproductive system. We always want to remember where the hormones are produced. FSH and LH are produced in the anterior pituitary. GnH is produced in the hypothalamus. And then of course we want to understand where they go. Where do they have an effect? Now FSH and LH always stimulate the gonads. And again, that's no different whether we're male or female. Again, same hormones, uh, different target organ. The gonad in the female, of course, is going to be the ovaries. Gonads in the male is going to be the testes. Okay, so that's where FSH and LH in this particular instance is going to be going. They're going to be targeting and stimulating the testes. Now, what does the cells of the testes do in response to FSH and LH? Well, the sustentacular cells will secrete a hormone based on the response to FSH, by the way. They will secrete a, actually it's not a hormone, I don't want to say hormone they will secrete a substance called ABP. This is referred to as androgen binding protein. Okay, so just to reiterate here, FSH is gonna stimulate the testes, right, the gonads, and specifically gonna stimulate the sustentacular cells of the testes to secrete ABP, androgen binding protein. Okay, that's going to be important later. The LH hormone is going to still stimulate the testes, okay? This time, what cells are the testes? The interstitial cells of the testes, and what are they going to produce? This time, yes, it's going to be a hormone. They are going to produce, in response to LH stimulation, they are going to produce testosterone. Okay, so there's our male hormone. <clears throat> okay, so then we've got these two specialized cells in the testes. One's making testosterone, one's making ABP. The two together are going to stimulate spermatogenesis. And of course, spermatogenesis is the production of sperm. So what do we need to trigger sperm production? Well, we need androgen binding protein, and we need the hormone testosterone. And of course, spermatogenesis will occur. Where does that occur? We can do another video on that down the road, but spermatogenesis occurs uh, in the seminiferous tubules, of course, of the testes. Okay, keep in mind, uh, when it comes to hormones, do, do women actually make testosterone? You know, if we go back to the reproductive side of the female for a minute, the answer is yes, women do make testosterone. They don't have testes, so they're not going to make 
a bunch of testosterone like a male does because most of the testosterone of a male comes from the testes, but they're going to make some testosterone in the adrenal gland, okay, in the adrenal cortex. Do men make some estrogen hormone? Yes. Again, men don't have ovaries, so they're not going to make lots of estrogen like a woman does, but they are going to make a little estrogen again in the adrenal cortex. So the truth is the, the, the male and female hormones really are produced in both men and women. The difference is the ratio. Men are going to produce a lot of testosterone and just a little bit of estrogen to have this uh, proper balance. Women, on the other hand, are going to be exactly opposite. They're going to produce a lot of estrogen and very little testosterone, again, to have proper balance. Okay, so this is the male side. Now, again, if you uh, watched our other video on the female reproductive system, you know we, we, we gave this little flow chart, but we also gave you these cycles. So if you want more information on how FSH and LH affect the uh, ovarian cycle and how estrogen and progesterone affect the menstrual cycle of the female, definitely watch that other video. Uh, there is another video on the hypothalamus pituitary relationship as well, which there's a lot of information there. So if you want more information on how these two work, definitely watch that video. And as always, good luck and good study.